In this lecture, I will give an introduction to Gibbs free energy. So what is Gibbs free energy? Well, Gibbs free energy, just like enthalpy, is a man-made concept, which means it cannot be measured. So you cannot use an instrument to measure Gibbs free energy of some object. Gibbs free energy could only be measured experimentally. Now that's because Gibbs free energy is defined by a formula. And this formula only holds under certain conditions. If these conditions aren't met, Gibbs free energy breaks down. Now let's look at these conditions. These conditions are constant temperature and pressure, the reaction must be reversible, and there is no mechanical work done. Only PV work is allowed to be done. Now let's see the result of constant temperature and pressure. In an isolated system, the number of moles stays the same, and that's because there is no exchange in mass. So if the number of moles stay the same, if the temperature is constant and pressure is constant, then according to the ideal gas law, the volume remains constant. So there is no volume change. So according to uh, the formula for change in enthalpy, if there's no volume change, then this guy, the PV work done, is zero. And so we can approximate the change in enthalpy to simply equaling change in internal energy, or change in energy, or heat. Now, before we jump into the formula, let's look at enthalpy and entropy. So what is enthalpy? Well, enthalpy tells us if the reaction is exothermic or endothermic. It does not tell us if a reaction is spontaneous. Okay? That's important. Now, let's look at entropy. Now, from another video, we learned that entropy is nature's tendency to create the most probable system. Okay? So, for example, if we have this isolated system, we have four molecules on this side, entropy, by definition, will tell us that two of the molecules will want to go here and will want to create this system here. In other words, this system is more probable. Okay? So we see that entropy and not enthalpy tells us if the reaction is spontaneous. Therefore, entropy determines spontaneity and not enthalpy. Okay? Now let's look at Gibbs free energy. So Gibbs free energy combines entropy and enthalpy the same way that enthalpy combines internal energy and change in volume. The formula for Gibbs free energy is as follows. The change in Gibbs free energy is equal to the change in enthalpy minus temperature times change in entropy. Now when the change in Gibbs free energy is zero, the reaction is said to be at equilibrium. Okay? The rate of the forward reaction is the same as the rate of the reverse reaction. Now, when Gibbs free energy is negative, the reaction is said to be spontaneous. If it's positive, it's said to be non-spontaneous or not spontaneous. Okay? Now, what Gibbs free energy basically tells us is that even, even an exothermic reaction can be non-spontaneous. If this portion if the change in entropy is negative enough. And what it also tells us that an endothermic reaction could be spontaneous if this guy, if the increase in entropy is large enough. So what Gibbs free energy tells us is that spontaneity is determined solely by entropy. 